Megan Hicks of Iron Far, and I'm here ahead of the 2015 the North Face Endurance Challenge 50 Mile Championships. I'm here with Alex Nichols. Hi. Hey. How are you? <laughs> I'm pretty good. It's two nights before the race, mm -hmm. and we've got two nights left. Yeah. You just rolled into town. How are you doing? Pretty good. Happy to be here. Um, yeah, it's kind of a long travel, lots of weird things, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. My brother's getting married tomorrow. Oh, you have a big weekend. <laughs> yep, so I'm looking forward to that. Not just a, a day of rest before your race. Yeah, it's it's a pretty small thing though, so. But I'm excited for him and looking forward to that. Right on. Yeah. Yeah, so this your race this weekend is not necessarily the main event. Yeah, and that's actually been kind of nice. It's like, I've been focused on the race, but it's not, I feel like I'm not as nervous about it. There, you have some distractions, some healthy distractions. Yeah, yeah, I haven't really thought about it up until, like, getting here, and that's been good. Awesome. Yeah. You've had a long year. We've seen you at races around the world. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, your your season really started in May. I mean, you did, yeah. some, did some other shorter training races before that, but mm -hmm. we saw you race the IAU Trail World Championships, and you've just been... Bam, 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 like on the month or every month and a half since then. Yeah, that's kind of how I spaced it. It was like I could get by with doing one a month. Um, not ideally, but like six weeks, I actually feel like for me personally, it's kind of reasonable as long as it's not a huge race, like um, time-wise. You know, like three-hour race is different than a 10-hour race. So I feel like the Alex Nichols that we've seen at races this year is sort of a different Alex Nichols than we've seen in the past. Like, you've been, um, in previous years, you've been, you know, you turn up to a starting line healthy, then you can't race because you get injured, and then you turn up healthy, yeah. and then you can't race because you get injured. This year, you seem to have been healthy and in shape all the way, all the way through the season. Yeah. Um, I think it's kind of just luck, honestly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like, maybe my body's gotten used to doing the racing and the training, but like my training this year hasn't been different than other years. I've just happened to avoid injury a little bit better. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, but I have been really trying to focus on just like getting to the start line because that's really what it comes down to. You can't do well in a race if you don't start. If you aren't there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. yeah. Such an amazing miracle of thought. Yeah. So. I want to ask you about your thoughts on your season because looking at it from my perspective, it seems like you've had heck of a year and you were just awarded USATF Ultra Trail Runner of the Year yeah. as sort of a, a, a notation of that. Has it been just a year of riding highs for you or when you look at sort of the, your, your balance of work this year, what are your thoughts? Um, you know, like I've done well in races that... I wouldn't necessarily say have been my best races, <laughs> so um, I think it's just I've been pretty consistent, but I've definitely had races where I was much happier with the race than others, even though like the maybe the place was still pretty good. Okay, so highlight reel for you. Bam, bam, bam. What are your highlights? Um, actually, the Moab, Moab Red Hot 55K. That's hometown race. Yeah, <laughs> I, I was really happy with how I ran there. That was like... Everything went perfectly. I ran fast. Um, then probably the World Championships. Okay. Um, that was kind of the first race that I've done with so much elevation change. Um, and that was, to get sixth, I was super psyched and to lead the U.S. team. Um, then Mont Blanc was good also. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I feel like the depth was more, um, more competitive at the World Championships. Mm -hmm. And actually, since Mount Blanc, I haven't quite had, like, the the perfect race. So, even though I was able to come back and do good races, it, those were... I was never, like, feeling that excitement about my own performance, I guess. Yeah. Look, looking to this weekend, um, some, have, some have said in suppositions in the last couple weeks that um, maybe this isn't a course that suits you. Um, as much as others, there's a little bit less elevation change and a little bit less technicality. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, it's different than the races that I've focused on this year. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't consider myself a, like a slower kind of runner. Yeah. Um, 
ultra running is still still pretty new to me, and like up until this year, I've never run a race where I considered running well was like ten minute pace. So I still run fast. <laughs> <laughs> Just watch me up. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, it's a different t- type of race, and especially with the whole focus of the year being steeper races, um, it is different. So. I don't really know how it's going to go. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, take me to the starting line a little bit. Are you going to pull the, the typical <laughs> Alex Nichols move and sort of sit back and, and watch some shenanigans before you take action? or? Um, I always just try to run like the most consistent race that I can personally. So, yeah, I mean, I'm probably not going to take off and do something crazy, but I'll still be running fast from the gun. It just might not be as fast as other people. Yeah. You've been on this course before. You've raced, I think you raced an, uh, an <laughs> altered version in 2012, which was like yeah. the biblical flooding year. Yeah, that was crazy. But you kind of know the gist of how it works here. Yeah. What are some pieces of the course or just formats of what this race is that suits you? Um, well, like the, the big climb up Cardiac is really runnable. And for me, that's sort of like that's the kind of training I've been doing up to this race, okay. is to get ready for that type of grade, I guess. Um, but then it still has, like, the stuff afterwards, there's some really steep climbs. So if, I guess I, I'm just planning on trying to stay comfortable on the runnable stuff and still get ready for the steep stuff, because, like, in the second half, there's some very steep sections. Yeah. And that has been, at least for the last couple of years, where the race is decided, is on yeah. one of those last two climbs. Yeah, and I think, I mean, the key is that you still have to be there when those climbs yeah. arrive. Like, yeah. I can't be 20 minutes off the back and expect to come back in the last 10 miles. Yeah. But, yeah, those those climbs are hugely important. Is this the official end of your season? Are you going to give yourself a break after this? Yeah, yeah, I don't think there's any more races I could do, <laughs> even if I wanted. <laughs> but, yeah, it'll be probably a few months off. Do you have plans for the winter? Like, are you going to literally take time off from running or go into some cross training or? Um, well, in Colorado Springs, you can pretty much run year round okay. because it melts and stuff. Um, so I'll do short runs, but I'm not going to have any focus to my training. And yeah. then have you sorted any races for 2016? No, I really haven't. I was waiting for the sky running schedule to come out. Uh-huh. finally did. Um, I don't know. I'd like to go to Transvolcania. Okay. I think I could do well there. Um, besides that, I don't know. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, best of luck to you this weekend. Thanks. And we look forward to seeing you out there. Yeah. Bonus question. <laughs> okay. You just had shoes delivered to you here at San Francisco <laughs> today. Yeah. The last minute shoe acquisition. What are you going to mm-hmm. race in? Um, man, I still don't know. <laughs> uh, they sent a few, so I just need to f- figure it out in the next like 24 hours and wear them as much as I can. Okay. But I've got pretty good feet, like in terms of blisters and things. I'm not too worried. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, <laughs> good luck to you. Thank you.